Good evening, everybody. This is Stephen Alston. This is Ben Adams. This is the Stephen Alston Made in Manchester podcast. And I include the full title today because I think it's quite poignant. This podcast is made in Manchester, literally. This podcast is made in Manchester by name. And what a week it's been for Manchester. Um, I can't really go more than the first 20 seconds of this podcast without mentioning the tragedy that happened on Monday and uh, the sad, tragic loss of life that we had um, from some prick targeting kids. Um, hearts go out to the families. And also, uh, if you check the... I've, I've been really into your minds today about what to do about this. Um, and I know some of you guys donate some stuff via Super Chat. And I'm going to say, do not donate anything by Super Chat today. There is a link... Uh, just giving link for the Manchester bomb. Um, and I, if anyone's thinking of donating anything today to the Super Chat, check the link below. That's the MEN's one. They're going for two million. They're at about a million and a half. I'm sure they're going to absolutely fucking fly through it. Um, so please give anything that you can. Um, I did want to. I thought it's at three million though. Uh, the what that one that well I think overall the 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 cruising up for some serious amount yeah because like. United and City jointly donated a mil didn't yeah they? some of the players senior players on each team done about hundred k each as yeah Zabaleta has done yeah and yeah, yeah Torre has Rooney Rooney's has. done yeah yeah from his foundation yeah so what I was gonna say is I, I was gonna say donate in the super chat and then whatever you get we'll double it or we'll top it up because I, I don't know fucking clue what we'd end up with in all honesty could end up with some fucking crazy figure I would hope that would be the case. Uh, but just to keep it clean uh, and to just say, look, if you're thinking of donating, if you can donate, the link for the main one that everyone is going for is down below. Uh, and that's the Just Giving link for the Manchester Bomb. So please drop some in that. Um, I'm going to stick some in as well after this as well. So um, if you have uh, if you have donated, screenshot your donation, tweet at us, and we'll try and tally up how much we've put in together. And then me and Ben will throw ours in as well on top of that. Um, but unbelievable how much it affects Manchester and scrolling through my timeline Tuesday morning didn't actually realise how many people I knew who was at the uh, the arena um, do you know Dipesh Mystery? Wait, with my school? I think so from Drosden he's, he's from, I think he's from Ashton actually oh yeah I know a Dipesh Mystery yeah. um, he was uh, he was in the car park picking up his two girls first concert he's let his girls go to I don't know it might not be the same one <clears throat> Um, yeah, he was in the car man. park, uh, saw saw it all go off, and he just spoke to him, and obviously you can imagine what went through his mind. There was a little girl in Jaden's class who was there. Um, fucking horrific events. Uh, and yesterday I watched the Europa final in Tiger Tiger, which was actually pretty much inside the police cordon, uh, and it was a weird vibe, man. It was a it was a weird vibe, and I just said to you a couple of minutes ago, didn't I? It didn't feel like celebrating it when we won it. It felt relief. It felt like uh, we found something. It didn't feel like we'd won something, like we'd achieved anything. Uh, and I think, unfortunately, the, the circumstances inside Tiger Tiger really fucking didn't help matters, actually, because uh, they fucked up with the, uh, the the stream and all sorts, and they missed out the minute silence, and the game kept skipping. And any time we had an opportunity <laughs> for like some fucking atmosphere and that really? to build... There was a few knobheads in that, because they started doing the minute silence, and it, was obviously, it can't be any other... From the Dutch end or whoever, but there was a few like people shouting in that, so it's changed from a minute silence to then just applause and then United fans singing Manchester. Well, see, yeah, Manchester. Well, what actually happened in Tiger Tiger is we, they was using a, a YouTube stream. Why I don't know, but it, it kept free skipping to stream and on freezing. YouTube, it? But it was free. It's a fucking Some venue in it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just fuck me. There was two and a half thousand people in there, all paying to be in there. Yeah. So um, it kept freezing and. And stopping well, and all the way through the game. All the way through the game. I was about four oh. minutes behind, I think. Um, like, I was doing full time doubles Twitter yesterday, so I'm scrolling through Twitter as we're watching the game, and someone had just tweeted us, Get in. And I went, I think we just scored. So I put the phone down and then watch Pogba score. It fucking kills it for yeah, you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, can't, you can't get in the mixer with it. But the, uh, the early part of the game, there was like a lot of fucking frustration in there with people. And then as it comes towards the minute silence, you see the players just about to start. The play start of Joe, like when it just falls, the, the, it's still a bit of stuff, but it's just that volume inside the place is just falling. And then it froze. And then we was two minutes into the game. Mad, mad. And everyone was just like, are you fucking kidding me? So we had our minute silence at half time, but that was, it was just that fucking weird frustration thing all the way through it. In terms of the game, it was a final, so obviously it was shit. But um, I mean, they, they, we controlled it from 
from start to finish. It was the press, wasn't it? Which is why I was yeah. I was surprised Jesse Lingard didn't feature actually when well, he was he, on the press. Yeah, he was the only one that I got wrong. Like someone's asked me for the team and I was like, it's uh, going to be this lineup. Uh, who did I get wrong? And I would have said Matter Lingard instead of Matter. Hang but on, let me have a look at the team. Fe- feeling like uh, you know Matter has played in European finals before, <clears throat> so well he said something didn't he? Like I needed his brain or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I I think I had. There was there was no one else. There was no Lingard. Yeah. There was no of. Other obvious choices where he was he was going to start. You you had your back four. It was potentially Carrick for Fellaini, but I thought nah, the way he's played Fellaini, he was never going to play. He was never going to play, play, was never gonna start <clears throat> Carrick yesterday. Never. I mean, that's off to him. Fellaini played well yesterday. He did everything what was asked of him. Again, I thought it was the press from the front which set us up. And yeah. I thought that was that's you've got <clears throat> a fucking and there was no spacing behind. Like I was saying to you, I think we might have uh, said it before. Like when they played Leon, then they ripped him to shreds. Fixed Leon, the camera, what the camera? Do you want it down a bit? Leon's defense was all over the place. It was shocking. There were gaps everywhere. There was like three men, two men, and like they were just exploiting it. But United were just solid yesterday. We was there yeah. Was no, was, there was no gaps in between. I was it. surprised at the defense actually because I seen how potent that Ajax can be on the attack, and we shut Dolberg down. Oh right, well, he got subbed didn't he? So he didn't get. A, he, I don't <clears> know if he had a sniff. Didn't he have a kick. No, it was, it was a good performance from as a team. Thought Under Herrera was good. Yeah. Um, but but besides that, there wasn't Dam- really anyone. I mean, I da- saw a lot Damian of people. Did some, oh, you know, did, yeah. Some, yeah, good game. I saw a lot of people moaning about uh, Rashford in the first half, but I thought he was he was just not quite get. He was. Yeah. I thought he was all right. I don't think he was, was I think bad. There was one point in the second half when he was he's breaking through, and I don't know who it was who was breaking on the right, but if he had just looked up. And just played an early ball. I think it might have been Herrera, but that Sanchez got back and got a tackle in. He was good, actually. That Sanchez. Yeah, he was, defensively he was. I mean, we let him have the ball, didn't we? Because he won't do fuck all. Um, that yeah. delick that de- was mint. 17, I mean. Yeah. Oh, that was pissing me off. Oh, they kept referencing how old they were. The commentators, like... All right, there's a 20 year old and a 17 year old, but there's a 19 year old. What's the big deal? Oh, you know, these young players have been exceptional. You know, this guy, it's hard to believe he's only 19. Like, fuck off, give it a rest, mate. Pogba's young. What's he doing? I don't know, sniffing my feet. Why are you pretending you can smell stuff? You're the shittest sniffer dog in the world. I don't know. Don't know what's on there. Someone's saying, oh, the cameras went crazy. Um, Yeah, because probably just moved it. No, it was before that. Someone was saying, hopefully that's fixed everybody. Um, I so think he was yeah. quite bitter the boss wasn't he Ajax boss said it was a boring game they just played long ball well, what do you want us to do play to your strengths I, like, today, what? I don't give a flying fuck how we play if, as long as we get the job done yeah, yeah, yeah. it could have come off the most offside backward Oi. well it did it did Go come away. off Oi. stop it go down there it did come off uh, the first goal wasn't it massive oh, yeah true yeah See that. I, see, I see some people saying uh, uh, Pop was that good that he, he aimed it. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they're joking. Someone in the comments here has just asked us actually, and we was talking about this a couple of seconds ago. Thoughts on Lingard's post match chant? It's not Lingard's, it's United's post match chant. And do you know what? I got no problem with it whatsoever. No, I got they're, no not, problem. they're not in court, they're not giving fucking testimony. We, My old man never told me to be a City fan, and we don't often score six. So these are just songs, these are just things that we say at the ground and. It's not about City that song. It's a UNITED United had a team for me. Mm. It's a it, it's a song about United. Just the end of it is, uh, I I don't like that knickknack paddywhack fucking thing anyway. It's nah. nursery rhyme shit. But and why not City fuck off home? It's, it's a line in a song. It's yeah. not a fucking take it to art, man. Yeah. You take everything to art. Yeah, it's yeah. just like it, it's not a fucking big deal. Um, and I seen uh, I seen George Weir's cousin have a go at some guy because he tweeted um, he tweeted that City thing, which was the a uh, City United and the United chant and gone, look at the state of these. But earlier in the day, he said, I think we're all supporting Ajax here. And then he tweeted like an Ajax badge inside the City badge saying uh, Manchester City or some shit like that. Yeah, fuck him. Yeah. Um, someone saying damn technical issues. What, on here? I, I thought we were doing all right here. I tested the audio earlier and surely it's all in sync. Let me check. Badge inside the City badge saying uh, man. See, that, that looks like it's in sync to me. Yeah, we're fucking rolling with that anyway. Do you know what, man? Fucking hell, I think we're already on it, you know. Um, everyone, please give us a share. There's 600 of you watching, so please give it a share. We'll try and cover the season a little bit today oh. as well. Because 
uh, to be honest, I didn't think there was much to be gained by analysing or over-analysing yesterday's game. No, nah, final one-off, like you say, just go in, do job the done, job. Done. I, I, I would take Mourinho, as I said to you, in a one-off game like that against anyone, pretty much. Well, he's now 12-2 and two in finals, which is a pretty solid record. 4-4 four and four in European. Is it? Yeah. It's not bad. Not yeah, he's, he's only lost a he's lost a Copa del Rey final, I think, against Atletico, and he's lost a Portuguese FA Cup against yeah. Benfica. You know, you could say as soon, as soon as that whistle went on Sunday against Palace. I mean, like the thing with the press conference, no one questions. All right, seeing a bit of fans. All he wanted to do, right? That's where well, my his interview with MUTV is like, I want to go home. <laughs> yeah, I want to go home. Yeah, I've got I've got a final. So you know, when it comes down to business, you don't fuck about. I mean, he is going to have to make changes next year listen man Mourinho's not been perfect this season Mourinho no. has been far from perfect this but look look what he's come out with at the end of the season three out of five I know but there's there is a way and means of doing something you know, um, we've rightly or wrongly given Rooney stick for the way he's took to or not took to and we praise Ander Herrera for his conduct this year and the way he does take to fans and fan culture in this club I, I do have a little bit of a problem with the way Jose conducts himself sometimes. Yeah, moaning, man. With the fans and stuff like that, and and not talking to us. He didn't give us a. He didn't go and speak to the fans yesterday. He didn't speak to fans at the end of Palace. Now he's not under any obligation to, but there is an expectation here that you've got. I mean, what was the perfect opportunity to been like? Listen, you know what I've done in these last few games, and we've done it for a reason. I want you to raise the fucking yeah. roof on Wednesday when I see you there. I think he was like. I think he was under that much pressure. To, you could see it after the game, he was almost crying. Maybe, yeah. And maybe I think I think that's more in terms of him rather than like the occasion and obviously what preceded it 48 hours earlier. Most definitely. Because he he's he's a serial winner. Hmm. So he looking at that be like, if I get beat here and if I don't get in the Champions well, League... Well, he's just been then, sacked from Chelsea and then a bad yeah, season with then United. Is that me over? Is that me over? Like, yeah, sometimes you've got to go back to basics. And there were times... You know, the start of the season weren't great. It was a rocky road. Then we went on a patch where we was playing really well. We were, we were putting goals past teams. We went obviously on this unbeaten run, but it was all them draws. And then the back end of the season just fizzled out completely. Well, he, he, he pulled the plug on it, didn't he? Completely. And then <clears> then you was feeling like, shit, this feels a bit like Van Gaal era, where you're watching it like, oh, do I really want to watch this game? That breeze was nice. <laughs> <laughs> I do, you know, can't be asked. And then... And it all boiled down to yesterday. So, you know, like you said, oh, I'm done, me. You want to go on holiday. You think of them targets, like, who, who oh. he's going to be thinking there. He has to change it next year. There's no way you can go into the same. Like, he's look not at new, man. Look, His four signings stood up for him this year. I think Mkhitaryan fizzled out a little bit towards the end. Obviously, yeah. Slatten got injured. But Pogba has fucking just hit it. I mean, Pogba's old man passed away. And he's done two in two. And yeah. some, some fucking cracking performances. Goal and assist on Sunday in half a game. And then a goal uh, yesterday with a fucking brilliant performance. And a, uh, uh, he's impressed me this season. And I think the chances he's created, which was the most, I think, in the Premier League out of any player, was great. And I think if you now put somebody like it, I mean, Griezmann must be the most open secret in the world, man. It's so fucking blatant uh, that fucker's coming, isn't it? Well, um, you, would, you would imagine I mean, so. we could fuck it up, I'm sure. There, there is always things. I mean, I think Edward was on point now. You know what the shit what he pulled off last summer. Yeah, I There's, think the, I don't have no experience on the I, I've got that. I've got no worries about him this time. You know, like when we went in with Moyes and it was his first season doing it. Comedy duo, wasn't it? Ah, oh, it was embarrassing. So but he's learned from then. He is he is really good at what his job commercially, yeah. you know, he's fucking sick at doing it, bringing in the deals for us. Uh Jack in the comments said uh he's uh, give Woodward his list already. I'd be surprised if he didn't add it for well, the end it, of April. He, he said two months ago he gave yeah, he's had it for two months. So, um we've kind of heard that there was two lists, weren't there? There was the we fucked Champions, it up list yeah, and, and we, we got in the Champions League list. So I think that's why we're we're seeing United linked to just every cunt at ah, the moment. That's gonna be fuckers. whittled down over the next couple of weeks. But it's gonna be it's gonna be mad now because well, now what like, if he gets bailed now? Because wasn't what Bales verbally agreed to come in? That was reported now. Oh, I'm not saying I believe it, but I, I'm, what no. I'm saying is that was reported. I'll just see. Whoever, I think whoever turns up for pre-season training because there's no international tournaments this summer, then 
that's who he's probably going to roll with. I can't see him dragging it out over it. No. Over, no, no. Like, well, over the summer. There's talk that the Griezmann deal is going to be done before he goes on his honeymoon and stuff. So you think, wow, we are going to move quick. But if we've been moving on him for two months, yeah, yeah. like the James Rodriguez one, that feels like that could have been a backup for me, that he could have been a backup for Griezmann. Because if we sign Griezmann yeah. as well as Rodriguez, nah, and we've got Matt, and we've got Mkhitaryan, that's too many yeah, fucking someone's chefs. Got, someone's got to give. Uh, I do think that the likes of Mata could be moved on though. This talk Barcelona are in for Herrera. I can't see Herrera going. Although you know, I know it's Basque and all that, the region. But do you it's not it's... Catalan, though, is it? No. I mean, do you see him going? To... Do you see him leaving United? I don't. Not with some of the stuff. I'd be wounded if. Yeah. I'll be as. But I was in this much denial when Beckham was linked with a move away. Beckham ain't going anywhere. And then he's on that. He's on the fucking front page of the paper in that fucking stupid blue suit. No, nah, I don't think. And a ponytail. Like, I didn't want right. Beckham to go, but you could see it was the end of the road with his relationship with Fergie. Someone's got to give. Fergie was not going anywhere, so Beckham was always going to go there. I was just in denial, and I'll be in denial about Herrera as well. Um, what you fucker saying in the comments? Um, I seen someone saying, "Who would you have anyone out of the Ajax squad?" And that's what I was mentioning before about that shit that's going on Twitter yeah, at the minute well there's a couple of you actually asked that in the comments anyway uh, have we seen the video with um, Cliver and Mourinho yeah, I don't we see have, we have seen it yeah. I don't see how anyone can fucking read his lips land there because no, you can't got to the, be a blag. yeah the camera angle is not even on Mourinho he's got his back to him and you can't see what he's saying that's also illegal by the way in football rules that's 100% a tapping up well yeah so uh, let's hope it's not true is it uh, why are like people 22? talking about Renato Sanchez as well? He's failed at Bayern Munich, where it's pretty fucking easy to not fail. Not Although there's a lot of competition around him because they've got twenty-seven thousand centimeters. Cassia is, is failed. I mean, he, he played. He was mint for Portugal in the Euros, and he was mint the season before that. Do you know what I mean? He's, he's oh, mute. Wait, 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 wait! Shut the fuck up a second. Dan McCabe says Matt made a fool of me. Listen, if you're talking about that fucking donut, Letizia, there's no one made a fool out of anyone apart from him making a fool out of yourself. And I'll tell you, if you've only seen half of it, which was today and not the fucking hours that we argued back and forth like about three weeks ago. He wrote an article where he said Paul Pogba is a flop, but Sane and Gundogan, who's played, what, 47 minutes in the league, were a hit. And his reason for Pogba not being a hit was because he didn't score enough goals to justify his fee. Paul Pogba's now equaled what he got in Serie A, the, the total of goals which led to him being nominated in a FIFA Pro World Eleven. So whichever fucking statistics Matt Letizia wants to pull this out of his ass, or whichever goalpost he wants to shove around to suit his agenda because United beat Southampton in the EFL Cup with an offside goal potentially I'm not asked. Yeah but it, people just see £89 million and they expect him to be score Roy yeah. the Rovers shit, do you know what I mean? better paint the lines on the pitch as well <coughs> Yeah. Like, um, so no, Matt Letizia you know I, 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 I rest- I'm going to say it on the podcast because I think it's really funny but I'm not going to tweet it because it's just going to cause a shitstorm. But I'm going to say it on here. He tweeted in reply to one of the things that he'd said uh, to us. He could have won more trophies, but he was loyal. Do you know he's divorced? Do you know why he's divorced? <laughs> he was cheating with that blonde Australian bitch that's on uh, Emmerdale. Shit, Kimberly Dick. That's the one. Kimberly Dick. Yeah, because I remember she was in Home and yeah, that's the Away, one. Isn't it? or Neighbours. Yeah, yeah, one of, yeah, um, yeah, I remember that shit. So yeah. he wasn't that loyal. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but anyway, yeah. Good, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck him, anyway. Yeah, fuck he you. was. I mean, it, as a player, he scored some unbelievable goals. He was a goal-scoring midfielder. Doesn't mean everyone has to be a goal-scoring midfielder. Xavi, Iniesta, Modric, Cruz, Vidal are all these shit players. The, 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 fucking Bayern Munich played nearly fifty million for Vidal, didn't they? Right? Yeah, but he's mint. He, but doesn't score the goals though, so he must no, be does, shit. He does score goals. He scored one this year. One? No, he scored more than one. I'm sure, it's one this year. Hold the fuck nice. Nah, scored definitely scored more than one. I think someone mentioned in the comments that I said no international tournaments, con- confederation cups on this summer. Have you seen though? Well, like he's got a few. Have you have you seen Germany's squad for that? Yeah, he's got quite a few goals. Ten. Um, yeah. <laughs> Have you have you seen Germany squad for the Confed Cup? They've left out like yeah, they've scored like eight goals. Goals. How many times this year as well? In the Bayern. Game. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, who are we getting rid of? I mean, that, do you know that's a difficult one to say because, like, you know, we've all say Rooney definitely gone. I think but he then, is, yeah. But know. I was chatting to that agent that I know today, and he went, "Wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't go." I was like, "What?" Yeah, and then you think, well, actually, you know, 
what pe- it's hard to read into what people say when it comes to the end of the season. I think you've got to let the dust lie. You've got to see who comes in. You've got to see who gets unsettled by who comes in because the. You know, Rooney's would be a proud person. He'll be looking at that and thinking, right, well, if they get, if we get Griezmann, if we get another centre midfielder, um, and a, another winger, let's say, someone who, who, you know, out and out winger, where does that actually leave him? Because he he gets shunted about all over the place. But if you look at that squad, he's not a first choice in this team. Nah, he's not. I mean, you could tell that by he played ninety minutes on Sunday. He would have known for a fact he was not starting yesterday. Oh god, yeah. and he, you know. Mourinho saying he's an option, he's an option. Like, he was a very viable option, he was ready to go. But he brought him on with two minutes to go. It's like some some shit that he does with Fosu Mensa, where, you know, let's give he, you an appearance. He brought like, him on to lift the fucking trophy up, let's face yeah. it. That happened. To give it, yeah, of course. I mean, all that shit was saying, oh, there's been rumours that Zlatan's going to lift <clears> the trophy <throat> as well. You're like, get the fuck out of here. What? what, what? That, that banner was funny, though. Yeah, that banner was funny, <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, no. There you go. That's. Uh, I think it's gonna be. A, it's gonna be an absolute wild one. To be honest, we are in for Muppet Central summer with ins and outs, and I think there'll be a lot of both. I think the writing's on the wall for Young. I think Smalling or Jones I, I will think, not both stay. I don't think Ashley Young will go. I think he's on too much to stay. What one for there? Yeah, I think that's too much for how much he's gonna play. Especially when you've got youngsters in there. I mean, he came as a right winger. He's not good enough as a right winger, so we fill him in as a fullback. Well, he's better fullbacks. Yeah, but Valencia come as a right winger. Now he's an established yeah, but, right back. But he's a first choice. He is. But Young's not a first choice. For how much he got rested towards the end, the back end of this season, you would think that he will want someone there. I mean, he played. He's played a lot of games. Granted, man, you got and youngsters he's... on three, four, five grand a week that are better than Ashley Young. Yeah, I'm talking Riley. I'm talking Balfwick Jackson. Yeah, but they, they're going to be. Yeah, but you're seeing like they're <clears> better. <throat> like, I know you hate Ashley Young. Or Young, got, just, Young got a lot of time for him. I don't hate him. But he's like a, he's, he's a, not good enough. Yeah, but he's a good professional, oh. and he's someone. Look at yesterday. Like everyone gets on with Ashley Young. He's a good person to have around the dressing room. That's not so, an excuse to keep him in the squad, though. But yeah, but he, he play when he plays. He doesn't. He doesn't let you down. You don't do anything, though. What do you mean, do anything? What do you expect him to? You're then you're no, saying to Pogba, saying, oh, you're not scoring enough goals. No, no, so I'm then, what's your remit for him to be a player? Because Ashley Young slows the play down. He af- he doesn't affect the play in a positive way. Yeah, but he's not there to. Isn't like as a, yeah, but you've got to understand what a squad member does. I do, and I'm thinking there's players, uh, young players that careers are gonna get fucked by him being ahead of them. Yeah, but that's what he's that's, not. But that's what Mourinho does. That's Maybe what Mourinho does. does. You, this guy's played as a professional football for 10, 12, 13 years, however long it is. He's not just going to think, right, well, let's fuck off all the experience. If he's no. getting rid of players who have got that mentality, it's that composure to be able to play. You know, like yesterday, <clears> all <throat> them kids that played for Ajax, their head went. They they not experienced a big game. They did but not know how to handle the situation. They didn't have a fucking real leader. No, but they've done it all the way through the season. They've just you know blitzed through it. And when it comes to the crunch time, when you got to dig deep, where is it? Like you're not saying I'm not saying Ashley Young is a leader by any stretch of the imagination. But I think you might have it, a point with thinking that there's going to be a fuckload of experience go, and there's already been a fuckload yeah. of experience go. So for that reason, because if Carrick goes, which well Carrick could happen, stay. I reckon Carrick will stay. He's not I, signed yet. No, but you won't. That when you get to like thirty five and it's a one year deal, you're not going to be that arsed, are you? I guess. You, your, fu- your future's you know not that much up in the air. It's not like you think right. Well, I need an, my next deal so I can make a bit of money, or mm. I can I've got can secure my future financially. He don't need that shit. No. So he can he's relaxed. And I think he's he's keen to go into coaching as well. So I yeah. think he's just waiting probably for that to get finalised. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, he'll still play. You still look at how many games we've played. We played 64 this year, yeah? Next year, we'll probably play somewhere similar. You're going to be playing 50-plus. Mm. So even if you're coming off the bench for your 10, 15-minute cameos or you're playing in the League Cup or you're playing in games where when we play three games in a week, four games in fact, 15 days, whatever it may be, you need people to come in who've ever got that experience. I, I, I young agree play, Young, play, play, young players aren't always going to do that. I, I think that you can bring in... I don't think you need someone for the experience like that if you've got it elsewhere in the pitch. And, okay, well, we full, probably full, are full looking... Fullback. Not necessarily a fullback. I would because prefer that's what, a quality that's... footballer over someone just with experience for experience's sake. Yeah, I know, yeah. It's, it's hard, isn't it, to strike that balance? Of course it is, yeah. It is hard to strike that balance. But I, I think I think Barfoot Jackson's someone that deserves an opportunity. He's been shafted this year yeah, yeah. by United and Wolves. Yeah. If people know the crack with that, he's been shafted by both sides there. Uh, I think Joe Riley was really unfortunate getting fucking injured after a game at 
Chef Wednesday, uh, Chef United. Look at the lads that came in. Look at Demi Mitchell, right? Look how how he played on his debut. Are you telling me you'd rather have Ashley Young over him at left back? No, I'm not. I've not said that, but I'm saying I can see why he will because stay. Because it's going to be a choice of one or the other. He'll stay in the squad. Well, you don't know because they might go on loan next year. You look at Josh Arup and how well he does. His movement is phenomenal. Mm. But is he going to be then there to play three, four, five games in a season? Josh or? is a difficult one because he's the. Uh, I know it's under twenty threes, but for me, it should be under twenty ones. Once you get to twenty one, if you're not knocking on the door of a first team place, then you're in the wrong club. You should really go somewhere like Joe Rothwell did, maybe, and go Oxford and and play all season and stuff. Yeah, well, that's what that's what Demi Mitchell might do. So you, you know, you send these people away to build them up as characters and give mm. that experience, and then you bring them back into the fold there, and then that's why you have that experience there, so that you know you can maybe recall that youngster. That's why you have the option, right? You can fit, throw them in if they're doing that well. Like you know, I don't know. There's there's loads in there. It's an absolute fucking mare, to be honest. Um, Tom in the comments says Riley Mitchell or CBJ. I mean, that's. I mean, you've still got you know, potentially four options there at left back, besides whoever the fuck else is in the first team. You've also got. I mean, Riley's a right back. I know everyone thinks of him as a left back because that's where he started, but I, um, I, I think he, he'll probably settle in as a right back. You've also got um, Varela coming back. Do you want know that dickhead done this week? Yeah, not bad. Come on, son. Out of the cup fan, but that that that's the sort of shit that Marina won't stand for. That. You've you've you fucked up your chances of playing in the cup final, but not just for you. You've yeah. let your team down. That's yeah, the most you've important. You've let your team down, and you've made United look stupid by what you've done over there. Yeah, because you look like we're sending unprofessional nubbins out there. Uh, I've seen a couple of people, T Black, and there's a couple of also mentioned it in the comments as well, saying uh, Angel Gomez on loan. No, no fucking way. way. No way. He's not going on loan just yet, but he won't be in the first team either. Uh, next year's a big year because we're back in the youth league and I'm fucking psyched about that man because that's when you really get to see I was fucking well jealous of City fans having uh, Barcelona and that to play yeah. against last year um, so we're back in the youth league which is under 19s I think what you'll see from Gomez this year is he'll probably start off the first 7 or 8 weeks of the season uh, as part of the under 18s team while they blood in the upcoming under 16s into the team and the new signs we've got some fucking unbelievable signings that we've got as well for that 18 side then I think what you'll see happen is as the likes of uh, Harrop I think probably will either go on loan or be sold I think um, as Harrop and that move on that's going to free up places and I think Angel's going to be someone then who flits between the under 23's team because he's still massively young for an under 23 yeah. player the under 19 Europa League uh, U- UEFA Youth League team because I hope we go strong on that and we've got the FA Youth Cup where he'll be a second year apprentice for next year. So I think the youngsters at United at the moment, especially those that are like 18, 19, this is a massive season for them. Because that's that's the age where you should really go make an impact at the 23 level. And now we've got the opportunity to do it in the, the Youth Champions League. And it's a big season for those who are still second year apprentices in the in the Youth Cup. Uh, we've got a fucking unbelievable side that, that can do bits this year. We was only second to City this year, really. And Chelsea, Chelsea are always yeah. do, but what what you know what do they bring through? What do they produce? They don't put anyone in the first team. And that Tammy Abrams, uh, seeing that Tammy Abrams, it, they beat us five nil, uh, five one, uh, like uh, January a year and a half ago. Uh, and Gomez came off the bench. Rashford played. Timbo played. Axel played. We had a good side out, and they fucking annihilated us. And that Tammy Abrams was different gravy. And when I seen he'd gone on loan, I was like, oh, I'm going to keep an eye on that. Smashetto. He's uh, apparently the Newcastle are in talks with him for lo- oh. f- for going on loan this season. So that I mean that'd be a good move for him. No, Cav Campbell's son's at uh, Stoke. Is he at Stoke now? Yeah, well, he left City. City. He was really fucking young as a under 18s player at City. I think he scored 64 goals in his final season. Man. Motherfucker knows where the goal is. Yeah. I don't think he's had a shot. Let's, look, let's just have a quick fucking Google at it, uh, Google at uh, what he's done this year because I think he's only played under it, Tyrese. Because I, I I've seen him and I've gone ooh because he's mates with Angel Gomez as well. This yeah. I mean is an exciting. Oh yeah, because they're all from. like live around the yeah. same area, isn't it? So you've got um, you got him because he's built like his old man as well, like Massive. a fucking tank. Yeah. Uh, oh, he's played in the fucking Johnson's Paint Trophy. That's it. Um, 
He's uh, you've got him, you've got Sancho, you've got Tuan Zabi, you've got some fucking yeah. top English players coming through. Like, Sancho and Gomez are fucking. Oh. Yeah, that's it. That yeah, he's unbelievable. He's in that in that tournament, they lost to Spain in the final on penalties. I think it was uh, the under 17s Gomez didn't go. Barlow went from United, and uh, that Sancho, I think, he got five goals and five assists in six games. He's he's fucking terrifying. Do when someone just picks the ball up and you yeah. go. They're running like Ronaldo. How old when is he, he then? 16? Um, is he, is I he think 70? he might be a year older. So he might go in. Um, he might be around in around the first team next year. Uh, have, you seen, have you seen in the release today? Like they just. I, I thought you had a fucking skinhead then. No, no. <laughs> they just done it in a. Uh, they done. Oh, no, no, 2000. So he's a few months younger than Gomez. Uh, so 17, no. He's, yeah, he's just turned 17, isn't he? But he might he might still be in and around there next season for the first team. You never know. But he, like I say, they, they've like it must have the people coming in to see Pep. Yeah, let's go and have a talk. And they've just released players fucking one by one this afternoon, which I was quite surprised that they got rid of that fast. Yeah, I thought Navas was going to get still an extra net, contract, man. and I thought Caballero might have got another year contract because Bravo shit. Yeah, and now <laughs> Navas is like quite versatile for them. But obviously he's going big. There's that thing with he um, said he's not playing youth though next year. Did he? Yeah. Yeah, well, because he's, he's fucking he's knows. Fucking he's going yeah, in. he knows. Well, he's already said it. If he was at a big Fuck. club, he would have been sacked by now. Fucking idiot. <laughs> it's like David Moyes. <laughs> the gift that keeps on oh, giving. Oh, yeah. When when he come out with that, must have been like when Moyes was saying shit and all the City yeah, fans was as, like... Yeah, we aspire to be like City. I know. <laughs> fucking Muppets. Oh, well, we've got over a 1,000 watching. Holy shit. Thank you, lads. Um, yeah, we've got 1,000. I think we're about 40 people away from it being our best stream ever from what I can remember. So can everyone give it a quick share on Twitter, uh, see if we can get 1,100, because I'm pretty sure 1,100 definitely is our highest. Uh, and keep liking it as well. There's 1,000 people in here. If all of you press like, that'll be 500 likes at least. I mean, obviously it'll be 1,000, but you good, all Good won't. math there. Yeah, like, good math. If everyone presses like, we'll probably get like 500 of you, and that helps it get found. So please come and help us get in the mixer. Um, yeah, the fact that both of him and Gomez born in 2000s. Nice. Nuts, man. He was already at fucking college, us. I went to, oh, went to uh, scenes with days. Someone's like, I had to be on a count, you know, serving you. Oh, recognize you. Did did you go six form? I went, yeah, like, she's like, oh, it must have been like 10 years. I was like, try fucking 14 years ago, something Ooh. like that. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> 15. No, nah, I left. I did an extra year, me, didn't I? <laughs> I was chilling. Oh, well, then I never turned God. up. I only turned up for the footy matches in the last year. <laughs> Won the league, though. It wasn't a bad team, though. Yeah, I was captain, me. But I, I, but I was on the trophy presentation. I didn't turn up because it was during the day, and I, I was still in bed. Do you know, I gave my when I, I played for uh, I played for Scotland um, students. I gave my fucking shirt to college because I thought oh, I'm a student. Yeah. They lost it in our beds. Shit, cunts. Oh, speaking of footy, mate, get get some boots, Anna. Yes, on Wednesday, I'm still fucking quite shocked that the club have approved it. <laughs> uh, genuinely. <laughs> um, Ben's playing in a, an 11 at Old Trafford. Uh, is that the first time you've been at Old Trafford on the pitch? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, like, big, big, uh, yeah, I'm well, like, you know, when you're kidding that, you think, oh, I'd love to play Old Trafford. So I'm giddy as fuck about it. <laughs> have I got a pair of boots? No. Have I got shin pads? No. When was the last time I went for a run? Fucking, I'll probably further ago than I was. Nah, <laughs> I did. I did a couple of runs not so long ago. I did a couple of five k's, and I was supposed to do one at work last week, but uh, lad was going to do it with me. He, he he was off sick, so I was like, I don't know. I've done a lot of walking recently. If that, all oh, right, that helps. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Ben's playing in an eleven for Marathon Bet on Wednesday next week, and uh, I'm doing um, I'm doing a podcast with Robbo. I'm Robbo's assistant for the day. <laughs> Well, that, well, I wonder if I'm, I'll be on that team then. I hope you're on my team. <laughs> I'm going to hammer you because you're going to be on my side. Oh, you're on the side, point, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to give you shit. But just make sure you're telling him in the air. <laughs> when you play in Stretford anyway, I'll be like, oh, I'd get him off. State of him. Make sure whenever there's a free kick, I'm on free kicks, mate. I'm fucking <laughs> bending one of them in the top bin. I'm gonna. I, I hope there's people with a sense of humour there and I hope people aren't taking it serious because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the piss. Because I'm going to be like, listen, Brian, I don't know what you know about football. But i got draws into a Premier League on foot. <laughs> so how about you take a fucking seat? Yeah, what, I'll, what, I'll lead this. What did you do with Thailand? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Have you ever been relegated? Because <laughs> I've not. <laughs> um, what else are we going to say? So um, oh. me and Robbo are doing a podcast oh, on the bench. So I'm going to try and GoPro that. 
uh, while we're talking, just a quick 20 minute. Oh, we've got one with Gary Pallister as well. Um, oh, let me tell us. Oh, shit. <laughs> Do we really want to go off road so early? I mean, I don't, what do you mean so early? It's been like half an hour, hasn't it? All right, fuck it, go on. Then. <laughs> go and get some boots. <laughs> Cheers, Alex. <laughs> that uh, I don't know where I could get them from. Did Dunlop still make footy boots? If there's a pair of boots I can get them for two quid, I'm getting them in, and I'm gonna make him wear them. Yeah. I'm just playing barefoot on <laughs> it. Oh. This story, this headline. <laughs> oh right, yeah. Anyway, someone someone sent me this before, and I was like. This has got to be a blag. At first, I thought it was like someone, you know, photoshopped it together, you know, one of these black articles. But it is actually from the Metro, so believe that what you may. Well. Uh, and it's from Tuesday, just recent, Tuesday, 23rd of May. And the headline, I was like, is this for real? But the headline is, Mum and daughter tricked into licking feet of Poundwell staff who rode them like horses. <laughs> Show the camera. <laughs> Where is it? There you go. Might have to get a little closer. There you go. No shit. <laughs> so then you're reading it and you're Can you like, imagine being the guy that's writing that headline? Fucking So they got a picture of the, like the Alex, I will ban you. That's bollocks. What's that? He says pineapple belongs on pizza there, I said it. Good man. I'll block you, you motherfucker. Good man. Anyway. The and stop donating in here, donate to the Manchester bomb thing. It's like how the fuck do you believe that? So it says they were tricked into licking the feet of the staff who were then rode them like horses in an elaborate prank by an anonymous caller. So someone's rang the motherfucking store and said, <laughs> it's a competition that we're running. Why, why do I feel like we're going to be doing this in a week? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it's a competition that's been run by head office. You know, shut the office up, shut the store. That's and you've got, amazing. You've got, to, you've got to do different things. So they were doing some last minute holiday shopping. And guess how long it lasted for? Two and a half hours. <laughs> you like I'd have got bored this shit I'd have got burnt. bored pranking them for that do you know what I did once to my sister I phoned her up when she was uh, like 15 or 16 and I told her I was from the water board and I had her running up and down the stairs okay, okay can you turn the hot water tap on on the bath please okay okay now run downstairs can you turn the, the cold water tap on in the kitchen yeah but, yeah, but she was at school <laughs> these are like this is a 24 year old and a 55 year old <laughs> so like pound world have said to him yeah uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna discriminate against Pound World employees here, but I don't think you're talking about top of the food chain here. No, but Pound World, like they've they've said, right. So what what we'll do for you because of this horrifying experience, we'll give you a 200 quid voucher that you can spend in our store. You're like, get to fuck. So a man claimed <laughs> to be. Hang on, 200 pounds spend in a pound shop. Yeah, you. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, before you go on, uh, Mason in the comments, uh, we'll give him a shout out as well. Uh, M-A-D about boots with a Z. Um, he says, what boots do you want? Uh, let us know and we'll sort them out. So I'll just open up his oh, Insta. So, so they've that. got an Insta channel, so we'll check that out in a sec. So uh, if everyone wants to go check out some boots, go check that out. Well, my favourite ever boots was uh, just off topic before we went there, is uh, the Preds from 98, 99 with the big three stripes that curl around and the, the red tongue that you can pull over. Jaden's got them. Well, it's not going to fit me. No, I know you're not bad. Jaden! <laughs> or just like, you know, standard coppers. Yeah, Copper, copper Mundial. Mundial. Everyone loves Copper Mundial, doesn't it? Yeah. Jay, bring us up your Preds! But look at uh, these fucking things. So this shot, I was like, where the fuck is this? So it's a caller from Ireland claimed to be charity. Yeah. And it was in Devon. They could win three grand. Yeah, they saw they could free, win up to three grand if they endured a series of humiliating tasks. So the manager and another employee also fell victim to hoax. Then told take the woman back on the shop floor. So they had to uh, tie string around their ears, threw water of them, and drew on their faces with pens. <laughs> And then it didn't stop there as the pranks were all the staff to ride them down the aisles in a human horse race. <laughs> You're like, what the fuck? Well, this guy must have been watching For two that. and a half hours, yeah. yeah, how the fuck can you get... Throughout the ordeal, they had to st the staff had to refer to the two women as ugly and beast. And in return, they had to call the manager beautiful lady with the promise of £50 each time they said it. At what point are you not thinking, nah, someone's having me fucking on it? About the first 37 seconds, probably. Till, yeah, they was carried on for nearly two hours until the caller <laughs> finally said the training exercise had ended. But then they left the store, and then for some reason she'd given a fucking mobile phone number out. So the the caller rang the mobile phone and said, "You gotta go back. You gotta go back. You can win some more money." So they went back, and then the uh, they, when he found it closed, they had to crawl around on the outside on the hands and knees, which they did for half an hour. Outside. Yeah. No, that's not them. Yeah, the stones in it. No, 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 no. Manias. Yeah. How come these are dirty? I guess we'll get the the, anyway. the the funny thing is what the girl said. Uh, 
We're both too scared to go into Poundland now. <laughs> <laughs> now that they're nice, but I'll show you the ones. They were the. Um, That's oh, not the year two thousand ones. Yeah, they might be. You know the ones that they brought back, the retro ones. Oh, it was them. No, it wasn't. They just brought them back, and I was like, "Yo, I'm sure Pogba was wearing them in training last year." When I put in 98, 99 Predators, it comes up with Nashville Predators. Is it fuck, mate? <laughs> Who gives a fuck about them? Put Hadidas. Uh, right, this fucking... Um... Yeah, them ones. Oh, yeah. They, they, they Mania. I don't know. I think they're called Mania, them. I don't know. I don't care. Them, what, they was in black, red, and white. and like uh... They're all in black, red, and white. No, but, you know, they did, they did them in like a... They're the standard ones, but then they did an all-white pair. With black stripes, and they did a red pair with white stripes. The ones back because I remember the 2002 World Cup. No, I had them in all red. They're the sick ones. Yeah, if you could hook me up with them, fucking hell. They're crazy, them, you know. Um, Adidas oh, oh, Predator Accelerator 1988. Do you not remember them? Look how badass they are, man. I do remember them. Gonna have to look what Predator Mania is, aren't I? All Cheese Pizza. Oh, all right. How about this? Is that how... some margarita, you fucking lemp? Play, yeah, plain cheese pizza, like... Um, yeah, Manias. No, I'm not really feeling I had the red ones. Uh, them ones. Oh, yeah. They were nice. Yeah, they were nice. Not very good on hard ground, though. They hurt like fucking hard ground. Do you know... Um, how Like this for about next year, yeah? See, Joe Pereira paid, played uh, on Sunday, didn't he? He did. I could say someone, Joe Pereira, for whatever, number one or something. I don't, he's not going to be number one. No, a little but bit soon. But can you see... Obviously, da David Hay, yeah? All intents and purposes, seems like he's gone. Yeah, I mean, if I was an Atletico fan, I'd probably be feeling the way I feel about De Gea with Griezmann now. It just feels like there's been too much, yeah, too much smoke and too much too noise. Fun. And so, would you say that Romero would be number one? You would think. He, he, he probably deserves a shot. He's stuck I'd, around. I'd love Donna Rock, mate. I know, but I think City are after him as well, aren't they? But I don't. AC, AC, but AC, AC Milan signing Morata. So I think you know they're going big next summer. They've been taken over by them Chinese, aren't they? So they're going to give a stint at it, try and challenge that monopoly, which is Juventus. Uh, but yeah, well, do you not see Romeo number one and Pereira as the backup? Playing uh, the League Cup, I think it could possibly work. Because yeah, I, 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 I can't see, I can't see him putting his. Because I, I told you or. Oh, Put a bet on before the season. League Cup definitely going to hear mark that because that's the first trophy that gives you the momentum and the springboard to to move forward. Part of the Rat Pack says that YouTuber Alfie Days looks like a Poundland footlicker. I don't know who Alfie Days is, but I think Poundland footlicker might yeah, be my new sick. fucking insult. That's fucking yeah. brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> he like why? Donna Pizza. Is, no, Donna's not even a real meat. No. Fuck you. Pizza Go Go. Where's that now? I heard of that. Have they got them down south, a lot of pizza go goes? I don't know, I've never heard of it. What toppings do I have on my pizza? All of them. <laughs> if you like <laughs> Domino's, you, yeah, that's like. Oh. It's a good pizza. It's not food, though. What? It's not food. I, I think it's like. I think it's plastic meat. It's a good pizza. Nah. They do all my chorizo and meatballs on them, which is pretty fucking spectacular. Nah, just go to the. You know where you, know you want to try? You ever heard it around Oldham, yeah? There's two places. One that I used to work at, Pizza Pan Express. They do badass Asian style pizzas. You have said. And also Cannes on their Manchester Road, which looks like an absolute shithole. But they Most do. Most of them do. They... Remember Charcoal Grill? <sighs> yeah. They I do. mean, Charcoal Grill had uh, like charcoal outdoor, grill. outdoor fucking. No, it wasn't uh, Charcoal Grill. It was. In Oldham? Yeah. No, they never did pizza. No, I'm not talking about pizza. I'm oh, saying about shitholes. Oh, right, yeah. Shit, do you remember we used to fucking walk up that spiral staircase that was hanging off to go it to the bathroom? It was a spiral staircase that someone had literally just sawn a hole in the yeah. roof and gone, that about fits, doesn't it? You had to, like, climb up to get into the... Shit, uh, rubble, that, that was some fucked up shit. It had, um, that was not passing no health and safety checks. It had, uh, do you like, your plastic garden furniture as indoor chairs. Yeah. They've but, extended now. They, they smashed it because they bought the next shop and knocked through. They, but they served it on these terracotta plates. It was a full bird. They still do. I mean, I like that. A full bird, terracotta plates. I don't know what the sauce was. It was a little bit like Perry Perry, but it was, a, it was also a bit cool as yeah. well. Uh, it was mint, and it was like, it used to be a fiver, didn't it? And then they fucking pumped it up for, to like six or seven quid. Have you ever been bolting? Are you talking about for food, Super Lucas? Because it's oh, a chicken place that? that you fucking need to take me yeah, to. Yeah, to the wings place. Yeah. Wings oh, and that. Oh, what the fuck? What place is it called? Is it is it Mash's? Mash's Wings? 
Help me out, Super Lucas. Is it Mashy's Wings? Where you get a wing plan and it's like 50 wings or something. And it's like seven quid. And you're like, what? I'll yeah, get chips. Told me. I'll get chips as you've well. Not me. Yeah, well, I haven't been for years, me. I don't know how to get relaxed to get me on that. Uh, Donna Pizza. No, I don't Cabal know. Kebabalicious. Is that in Duckingfield on uh, King Street? I always drive past that. but I've never eaten Duckingfield. I reckon that's probably a rule for life. No, I've, my mate owns... <clears> uh, <throat> anyone ever been to Kitchen King on the bottom of King Street? Shout out to Fads. Do you ever get food from the Curry Mile? There's some good restaurants on the Curry Mile. Yeah, can't be What's that Curry orange Mile? place? There's an orange place. I don't mean it's got orange in the name, but I mean the, the place is literally orange. On the corner? No, not that one. That's that... Uh, Lalkeel... Um, uh, not Lalkeel, uh, Sajjans. Uh, the yes. cheap one. There's a really cheap one. I don't know, I used to go Sajjans and get like... But there's a there's a pretty fancy one right in the middle, which is fucking kebab. Oh, badass! They know. did a they did chicken, they did chicken curry lollipops, and they were amazing. What? Why yeah, would you want to fuck with that shit though? Because there was like chicken curry lollipops. Mm. Nah, that's just the weird. No, it, it was like a it was like a satay, but it was called chicken curry lollipops. Oh, so it weren't actually a lollipop no, made into right? like a no, lollipop. It was no, like no. a chicken satay, but it was banging. Oh like, man, I can talk about food all day. Clearly. Then. I, no, I, I always try and uh, divert the uh, the full time devils previews to at least one food mention on every single one. It's amazing how many people like think a fucking uh, margarita pizza is acceptable. Chicken station. That guy smashes it. You know where Mr. Cod used to be? Yeah. It's called Chicken Station now. And they just fucking. They're just a machine, then they roll out some shit. Chicken. Pizzas aren't nice from there, though. The pizzas aren't Mr. Cod, nice. You, I mean, Mr. Cod was the Shout best place for, for, for chicken, for chicken uh, burgers. Yeah. I remember when we used to work at Perfect Pizza. We used to just go and get one of them chicken burgers. Yeah. They were, Slice of cheese. They were used sick. Go, used to go Kansas in Oldham, Virginia. There was a few in Ashton, because Ashton was kicking it. Ashton, the Ashton's decent now. It's a little like, shout out to Freshers. Kaiser owns Freshers. If you're ever down there, they do nice burgers and um, milkshakes and shit. Yeah, I've been solace, that's all right. I'll know, that's like decent. I've had some f that spicy as shit though, their food. Cosmos, Cosmo, where's Cosmo? Go to Coolio's in Bolton. They've opened a, a Caribbean place in Ashton now, right next to Molly's. Have they? I drove past it yesterday. I've not tried it though. Uh, shout out to the guys in Buzz Rocks if they're watching. Ashton Bolly House, yes, that's my local. <laughs> um, the, uh, the guy in Buzz Rocks, every fucking time I go in, just buzzing and just like chats all sorts of shit about it and there's one guy who's an Arsenal fan uh, so he just chats shit about Arsenal fan TV but uh, quite funny it, that's fucking sick in Buzz Rocks. I do like Buzz Rocks. yeah Buzz Rocks is bad I haven't been Buzz Rocks for time do you know what where did we go uh, it's just when Mr. Buzz Rocks talks to you because I just can't what you want what you want bye 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 you, like, you know what it was uh... best though? Back in the day because he never obviously had the shop and he used to go outside Hugh Market and he just had literally his um Portable. Did you ever try the Cool Runnings uh, food truck? It was just a bit nah, further up. So if you, you go from Buzz Rocks up Stretford Road and do a left towards Ayers Road, Joe, where we used to park. Yeah, yeah. It was just there on the right hand side, Joe, where all them like. Is that where they, they have this shop now in Longside? Is that one? I that was pretty know. nice, though, to be fair. That Dougie's cool is just a bit further up, though, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think I've been Dougie's. We went to that one in Charlton one time that was on the corner. On the corner, yeah. Yeah, but it was great, but it was a bit grim I'm, inside, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, I weren't really feeling that, to be fair. Crow Hill Shop. <laughs> Ain't nothing going down at Crow and Shots <laughs> apart from when uh, Mr. Wilshaw went round the back of that with uh, a certain individual. I got nothing to say on that. They got a they got a, uh, Crow Hill Chippy like nah. Like Kelly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember? Like, <laughs> yeah, of course. Okay. I yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Christ. Um, Craig says still in Stockholm. Incredible. Big step back to being where we want to be. It was. I like we go back to it. Like, do we rate Nando's? Did when he used to have a free stamper, lad. <laughs> <laughs> used to go like, oh, it's the best thing I ever bought. That. Uh, well, I bought one after, uh, a couple of years later because when they changed it, you know, the stamp. Oh, so it the, had N28 on it. Didn't uh, it? Yeah, and it changed it ultraviolet one or whatever. I bought one of them off a guy. Uh, fill the people in. All right. Go so, on. um, I was just fucking scrolling through eBay one day, and I seen that this was years ago. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it was ten years ago. Yeah. So, uh, you was in an Audi, weren't you? So, oh. not one on the main road? Or just, how long oh. ago did you live there? What, no, oh, that was like 2008. It's so. 2006 World Cup we watched there. 
Yeah, because we had the um, outside fire pit. Yeah, yeah. So that, it was it was it's ten years ago. Uh, it probably was ten years ago. Yeah. So I'm fucking just scrolling through eBay and I just seen this thing for Nando's and it was just like a, this little ink thing, <laughs> right? And it was like I read the the thing and it was like loyalty card stamper and I was like, let's have a look. So I bought that for like a tenner. Um, it's twenty quid on it. Either way, either way, way it got rinsed. So who gives a fuck? It ran out, we used it that much, and we had to start yeah. colouring the fucker in. We had to buy an ink pad. <laughs> <laughs> Standard. So what we then do is, you got a Nando's, you make your order, and then you grab the fucking the wedge of, yeah. of chicken on the You're fucking the giving side. them out, like, smiles, like, yeah, he wants a free and chicken. go home, and then you stamp it, but you're not, you're not done, man. you got to rinse it up a bit first. Yeah, make it look a bit worn, you know, no, authenticate um, that shit. Stamp it, but then you'll rotate it a bit, and then stamp it harder. And then we stamp it and drag it. Mix your signature up, change oh, the yeah, colour yeah, pen. There was a whole lot of method oh, in that. Yeah, it was, it was a routine. Especially when you go into Nando's three or four times a week to the same <laughs> ones you get me. So you're like, I'm like, you've been at Nando's before. You're like, I've got my free. Well, I've not been today. I've got my free chicken. <laughs> uh, I'll just have a portion of chips and uh, not even a soft drink. I'll have a fucking <laughs> glass of water and I'll be going and I'll to get the a soft machine. drink. Yeah. <laughs> they caught onto that one though because they give you them fucking miniature cups now. If you ask for a glass of water. Oh, anyway, so yeah, unless, unless you say, "Well, I'm, I, I need mean, a glass for my daughter," oh, that's good. And they go, "Well, can I give you a plastic cup, you know, the paper cup, whatever." Yeah, I'll fucking fill that one <laughs> up straight away. So yeah, we uh, we fucking annihilated it. It got so hot that the one in Ashton, we had to stop going to a. You had to bit. send different people up. So yeah. send Janine up. It's like, oh, I'm not doing this again. Well, and that stamp, ar- that stamp around, they changed it. And then someone I seen on my Facebook who met bizarrely random in Leeds on a night out one time, this doctor. Uh, oh, I was training to be a doctor. I think he's from Scotland somewhere. Oh, and by the way, everybody got a free chicken off us. Yeah, they everyone. Got yeah, free yeah, everyone. There you go. <laughs> and uh, he, he was selling them. And I was like, mm, do I trust this guy? I'll send him the money anyway if he sends it. Buzz in. And he did. He sent it through. And I was like, sick. What a guy. Ultra-bad one. And I rinsed it. And then my <laughs> missus, like, then, you know, started checking her and that. And she's like, I don't really like Nando's. I was like... Are you fucking kidding me? We ain't going out. So yeah, that's when my Nando's love affair changed. Now it's all electronic cards anyway, because they must they, they must have seen the profits go up. Legendary six to eight says, how long did this go on? Um, about six or seven years. Fucking long time. Yeah, don't worry about that. Yeah, it must have been at least until two thousand. Well, whenever they brought in their electronic cards, that's when I stopped. Because I still, but well, I but, stopped time and time and time ago. Actually, oh, I didn't, I, I'm afraid you you did carry on for it. I still carried it on even when they had the electronic cards because you could still use your old cards up until <laughs> a certain point. So I was just still rinsing it. There was a there was that tiny little chicken there that had a real fucking weird sounding name. She must have cottoned onto it because she would always come over and say hello. Do you know we got shut down uh, the one in Ashton for. Um, Fucking health violation, health hazard. They had fucking mouse and shit, rat Did droppings, they? yeah. They shut it down, they sacked everyone, and they got a new manager, and they, they, I think they renovated. There was that one, was not There was only one though. where I kicked off, because uh, I was in there. Because um, you know that they keep the chicken in the tray underneath the grill, don't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all prefab, isn't it? Yeah. So uh, the, guys, um, the guys opened up two drawers, and he's fucking shut them with his foot. So he shut one. But there's an open drawer with chicken in it underneath where he's just like shoved his foot. Oh, in. shit rolling off. And it. I was like, whoa, come on, son. So, yeah, chicken got fucked up. Joey in the comments, any plans to go on True Jordy podcast? No, but he's on mine on Monday. So, I'll do a post over the weekend, probably Saturday, so you can all get your questions in. Um, I'm sure that's going to be the crap, man. If anyone else knows of any food blags going, like, you know... We are down like for Nando's. that shit. We're only down for doing this to corporations, not for, like, you know, individual no. takeaways and... Support your local fucking independent traders and rinse the corporations. The ones that don't pay little to no tax. Yeah, you're paying four quid for a Coke. Come on, son. You can give me that free chicken. The ones that are in Theresa May's back pocket. Yeah, man. Um, you want me labour? I am. Absolutely. Um, 100%. Like, do you know the thing what... Say, I mean, don't really want to get into a lot of politics. Obviously, loads of people have different views, but you see the amount of shit that Corbyn gets, or the way that the press attack him to support the other person. You're like, well, there's an agenda there. Of course, there is. Straight away, so you have to look past that. Do your own research independently. See what you know. People saying, oh, the way people IRA going, sympathizer, all no, this shit. It's not the case. Read the actual no, facts. No, the guy was literally just going for. Mm. We people broke the rules on this, and that was that. Do you know, like. You know, I've seen I've seen pictures which are outside of the media circle with cameras and everything, no security, no nothing. He was actually talking to people in Manchester on Monday and Tuesday with 
without any security, without anyone there. Do you know what I mean? Theresa May won't the get... Guy, the, yeah, the guy's one of the people. She's not getting away from anyone. She's with a you know bulletproof fucking bubble car. Got like, I don't know. She probably got body doubles, everything. Do you know what I mean? They, they don't give a fuck. She don't give a fuck about the people. Do you know what I'd heard... Um... Some guy said the other day, first time the SAS have been on the street since na- the the 1980 siege of uh, Iran, because uh, obviously the SAS was on the streets of Manchester uh, yesterday. <clears throat> um, but trust me, this was not the first time the SAS has been on the streets. Um, after the seven seven bombings, there was a fucking enormous operation similar to what we're seeing in Manchester. Um, I know because my regiment was part of it, um, flying around them boys, um, just fucking jacking people out of cars and stuff like that. It's sad that the troops are on the streets, but that's another reason why you should be fucking voting for Labour because this bitch cut 20,000 police officers. And yeah, you know, we joke, don't we? Fuck the police and all that lot. But at the end of the day, uh, this shit don't work. Uh, and you, you see the amazing things that the emergency services do. And do you know what? I'm going to give a guy a shout out. Um, and a guy saying, keep keep politics out of football. Listen, mate, it's, it, it involves us. Everything, politics is in everything. And how this country operates and how we are able to go to football relates to politics and everything. So you can't say keep politics out. It's fucking... Um, it's in everything you do. It, it, it's vital to this country and it's vital to what we do. So we have to... We have to fo- if you want to say... It's the first time that I've been passionate <clears throat> me about actually voting. I think it probably, to be honest, it might be actually the first time that I've ever bothered to vote. I, I registered myself the other week it's too late to register now if you haven't so you know unlucky on that score um janine's brother uh i sent you the picture today yesterday i'll show you guys i can't throw it up on the screen unfortunately but uh there was a picture that went round like mad and we all saw it from monday night which is that that one there well the paramedic with his back to us is janine's brother my wife's brother we didn't even notice. <clears throat> uh, ben, what's your Twitter handle? Um, he's Badams1983. B Adams1983. I'll put it on here. Fucking good man, Mason. Um, it, it kind of is a bit of a shame because I thought I couldn't have voted for Labour while that mummy's boy Prick was in charge. What was he called? Miliband. Miliband. No, nah, I mean, say Corbyn is not like everyone else. You see, like people, even his own party hate him. Yeah. Or a, a, a section of his own party. See, that's him. a good thing, mate. Yeah, because because he doesn't conform to what you know. Everyone's got it too easy. They're all making money. They they only give a fuck about themselves at the end of the day. The, they especially the Tories, man. Yeah. That 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 fucking crazy bitch was gonna cut up. The NHS, which, trust me, I mean, yeah, I can't yeah, understand yeah. Americans flipping out over Obamacare because the number one reason for people going bankrupt, think about this, in America, is through medical costs. That doesn't happen in England because you've got an NHS that supports you. But can you imagine that you had to pay for, I mean, you, thank God you've not really had a lot of illnesses, but, like, can you imagine that you have to start fucking paying for all that shit? Well, yeah, I mean, to be fair, I do get private health care at the minute, so. Uh, but, but, yeah, I would still use the, the options, NHS. The yeah, option's yeah. there, isn't it? And, and... Like, uh, something, something fucking happens. Uh, you broke your foot, haven't you? Or your ankle before? Yeah. Did an ambulance come? Uh, I don't know, actually. Because that's I mean, was 1,500 like quid minimum was like for an 16. ambulance. It might be more. Oh, did you have a gown when you went to hospital? That's 400 quid. For fucking one of them. But I've been in hospital for a lot of shit. Well, for, for appointments on a regular <clears> basis <throat> because of, like... My dad passed away with bowel cancer, so you know you have to get screened for that. So oh, that's, I've been that's at least be a couple of bag every yeah, time. I've been at least look. three times. It's not a pleasant experience, but you know it's a necessity. That that sort of shit in America is what the Tories want to bring in in the UK. They want to privatise the NHS, which is uh, not perfect. You know it sucks when you got to wait there seven hours, but yeah. you know what? But if you set it up it's to fail free. anyway, it's gonna fail. Do yeah. you get me? Shit's free, and uh, they do they do a fucking cracking job. So. Uh, you can't let these cunts back in. And whether or not you think Tor- Corbyn's the right fucking guy, do you know what? He's a, he's a guy that's an intelligent guy and he's a guy that's not going to rush into stuff. If you if you go for a measured guy that's a fucking leader, like America with Obama, I mean, that was a presidential guy, wasn't it? He, he got the air of a president. 
is an intelligent guy, and now you've got a fucking yeah, but he's still he's, he's still bomb, he's, he's still bombed kids in Syria, mate. Do you know what I mean? So he, he's he not perfect. He might have done. If he did. Let alone might have done. But look at how overt this corrupt cunt is with a stupid haircut now. Who's that? Trump. Oh, yeah. Oh, FBI, you investigating me? Sacked. See ya. Nah, he's like, oh, I say it every day. There's always some shit every day that happens, and he's like, there's no way he's lasting full term. Absolutely no chance. Unbelievable, man. Unfucking believable. But so, yeah, so you can't say politics doesn't belong in football because it is politics. Every, life is politics. Um, yeah, you still have to pay for Obamacare. It's expensive. Okay. Like I, I will freely admit I don't know the one hundred percent everything that's going on nah, with the stuff that's going, but I know I that there was asking, I can't be asked getting involved in their shit when you don't even know yeah, what's like right. there was there was a movement, wasn't there, to make healthcare one affordable, I think, was it? And some instances of it free. Yeah, well like, I've seen stuff where you know, these middle income families and I can't remember what I was reading a story and it's like they're not poor. Mum and dad have got decent half decent jobs but this girl's disease meant that she was need to be put on medication for life and in America yeah and it was like twelve hundred dollars a month for her medication to keep you know for the, the the decent medication and they're like how do we afford that twelve hundred dollars a month that's a wage so and that's it the, the no, think about that right the number you can always judge a society by how they, how they treat their poorest and I think that's what I was going to say earlier, actually, when Miliband was in charge and perhaps a little bit under Gordon Brown as well. Labour created a non-working class where it was acceptable for people to not work and to live on benefits. Yeah, it is a, fi- a fine balance. balance. Yeah, it's a fine balance. And I would, you know what, I would rather have people that are milking the system to make sure everyone gets sorted out than to have no fucking system and have the, the Victorian workhouses where, like, oh, you didn't eat today? Get a job. You get four more. He's, he's promising four more bank holidays. Who doesn't like that shit? Is that I, that's enough to just get to the polling station? It, it, well, it is. But on the on the flip side, it's like it's all right creating these four extra bank holidays. But people like I wouldn't work on bank holiday, but I would still get paid. I haven't so had then, a bank holiday after this year. So then, but then my company would have to foot the bill. But my company would be all right because of the size of it. Mm. But you have small and medium enterprises who you know then may have to pay like five ten people that day to have it off and you're losing that production value of whatever it may be so that it's a i say it's a complete finite balance between tipping the scales and like sending people under but at the same time it's like what you know you can't please everyone in a in a society that we have that's so multicultural and so diverse it's so difficult you can't please everyone and uh I've seen, I mean, I've seen some seriously racist shit in the last couple of days. Oh, man, yeah. Do you think Tommy think Robinson... It, it gets, not, his real, not his real name, by the way. Isn't it? No. Hang on. Do you think he can even come without uh, without having a, without a terrorist attack happening? I think he needs that to fucking get off me. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't like to comment on people who like that. Do you know what I mean? Because it's... If they've got an agenda, that's fair enough. If you want to, you so want to. If you have a narrative that you want to push, then that's fine. It's, it's not like something that it. it's not something that I'm going to follow. And I, but I'm not going to waste my energy to watch that to see the people and the reactions. Yeah, it gets fucking shared on and your like, timeline. It's out yeah, but I fucking see it. It doesn't get shared, man. I like I'm in the post. I'm thinking Facebook does nothing for me you now. Absolutely nothing whatsoever. I don't want to see. Mm. shit like that vitriol and hate being spread in any way shape or form and like there is people that do it there's not there's people then on the on the flip side that support certain things and they'd be like i know this wouldn't is not the case and, and whatever but i just I just can't be asked i ain't got i don't want to waste my energy and thinking negative thoughts about other things when i've got too other too much shit going on myself so no i would ra- always rather spread fucking positive stuff and uh and inclusion and just think unless it's for people like piers morgan then fuck him. Yeah, you can fucking sling it. And John Terry. Um, don't comment shit like that. Tommy John in the comments. Tommy Robinson is a fucking British legend. For what? For what exactly? What has he done? He's a guy that gets off on fucking... Uh, yeah, he's an antagonistic monkey. Yeah, he's a fucking idiot. Um, I love that word, libtards. Like what? Sauce for having compassion for a fellow human. <clears throat> I hate that the way people show up as like labour and that want terrorist attacks to happen it's not the case 
Yeah, but at it, all. yeah, that's, that's not the case. I mean, yeah, but that's when you put on a headline like, "Oh, is is weak on defense," and then you know, unfortunately, things happen, tragic events happen, and then you're like, "Well, I'm going a minute." Mm. She, she's not. She said she's willing to drop a nuclear bomb on some. On so someone. she's strong on defense, but she's cutting up all the fucking police everywhere. So like, yeah. what what is it? I mean, personally. Uh, the British Army's been cut by successive governments so fucking much that we're like pre-Napoleonic war numbers now. This is absolutely insane. So, but you don't necessarily need people on the front line though, no, because you've got drones. Hmm. You've got drones. You've got these crazy fucking battleships. You've got uh, nuclear weapons. There's not going to be a ground war that Britain needs to defend itself against. You know. So, and we're part of NATO. We have got fucking Big Brother looking after us. We probably could cut defence, and I would probably be in favour for cutting a sensible cut of defence if we had to. A rather was not, but if we have to, that overdoing the police mm. and the NHS and the fire services because that shit's more relevant to everybody's day to day life as part of being a Briton. Whereas I saw in my time in the army, the level of equipment and the level of spending must have just gone through the roof. I mean, we was basically like not fucking far removed from the Falklands sort of like level of kit from the first Iraq war to that second one where you had unbelievable amounts of kit and every fucking armoured vehicle, you're talking three, four hundred thousand pound for them, mm. um, you know, 64 million dollar helicopters. But that, like, yeah, I was just thinking about something else, but that, that bitch sells arms to the Saudi. Yeah. So that they can go and do the fucking... The, shit, right? the, the nightmare is that there's a terrorist attack just happened before a general election and unfortunately everyone goes right wing when they're threatened. And uh, yeah. I wouldn't like Which to suggest is... that there's anything fucking untoward happened in this, but um, it has happened in the past. Uh, and I hope that's not the case. I know, um, but like you think at the same time, like not to, to go on to it and say, but you think, well, why would you target... Why would you target like, little kids and stuff? When there's politicians on a campaign trail, they can be got out. They're in the public space. They're in like speaking to crowds and stuff. You know, if you want, if you want to make, you know, make a point and put a point across, why don't you do it in that place? So, anyway, can we can we talk about something else? <laughs> like we was, someone said about doing a football manager stream. Don't we have to do one? Well, we got to do a, well, we got to do a monthly one now because we did hit our Patreon limit. Uh, the, I took the link out because I want everyone's focus to be on the um, the just giving one below today. But um, if you want to get involved on Patreon, just search my name on Patreon. Uh, we are doing now. I mean, we said there's too many fucking games this the end of the season to get it done. But now uh, it's June, the first one we're going to do. I don't know how we're going to do it in here, but we've got a green screen behind the camera over there uh, where we can probably somehow. I mean, I've got the Wii here. It's downstairs. Uh, we're gonna do a. Um... <laughs> We're gonna do the Wii Sports thing with Illy if we can. Mate, he's not doing that in here because it is hotter <laughs> than. I don't know where else we can do it. I don't know where the fuck else we can do it. Do it in the back garden. We could do it in the back garden, but we have to do it early. I mean, because it's dark now, so we'd have to do it. Early. Yeah, well, it don't go dark. You know, oh so. shit! We got some shit to tell people, and we've not even fucking told them. I sort of let the cat out of the bag last week because I was asking loads of really obvious questions on Twitter. Oh, all right, okay. Uh, but essentially, um, Shannon Briggs has tested for testosterone. You have seen him, you have seen him, haven't you? You have seen videos of him. Woo! Of course he has. Of course he has. Come on, son. I told you everyone's on gear. <laughs> you need to listen to me. Um, so uh, today I have managed to secure myself two tickets. How fucking expensive, by the way, for a preseason friendly? It's more than my ticket is at Old Trafford. On a, I thought it was like twenty notes. Whatever. Um, so me and Ben are going to Ireland so all the Irish lads in the comments or watching we're coming on the 2nd first, uh, first and 2nd of August for the United and Sampdoria game so that Tuesday night we need a hurling game a something, Gaelic football something game. sporting yeah something, something traditional something sporting that, that says Ireland that says Dublin somewhere ideally in Dublin because we're staying in Dublin um so, oh, is that all the thoughts? Sorry, no, I, better, I better get a time of work in it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you go to work with it after, like. Yeah, well, well, I might, I might not. So, well, it depends what time you get back because it's like. 
it's it's not like it, it's not like I'm getting on a ten hour flight. I'm gonna be jet lagged to shit. Do you know what I mean, I'm gonna be in town and just like f fly across anyway. So it's only an hour flight. That's yeah. That, yeah. Is that's that an hour? It's an one hour flight. Yeah. Hour, whatever. Yeah. I've done plenty of them. Yeah, man. By the time you get up, you come down. Um, yeah, well happy with that shit. So we're going. Uh, we're gonna be there early doors on a Tuesday. Uh, I am hoping to have a fucking drone before we go. So uh, we'll do some drone yeah. shots. We'll do a sick travel vlog, uh, and then we'll do hopefully an event vlog of that game um maybe go and do like the fucking guinness tour or whatever it is do yeah. the guinness factory or something yeah we've got to do some irish haven't we oh yeah have you been in ireland before nope nope me neither so looking forward to that uh and then obviously we got the um i think i'm going tickets are a joke yeah 60 euros 60 fucking euros for a pre-season friend uh that was only i said they've even stadium as well which is national stadium isn't it Think so, yeah. so what's that 60 70 thousand damn they're making some coin off that one who where, who gets the money for that where do the proceeds go <laughs> Liam McDyer says fight outside coppers at 4am is quite Irish <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty Mancunian as well that, to be honest <laughs> uh, Matthew O'Reilly says uh, I'll be able to let you know about GAA games closer to the time awesome right. a lot of people have said that weekend before and after um, a Croke Park tour uh, we, we'll do whatever, man, because yeah, we just want to get some good stuff to film. Uh, that's the whole point that we're going there. It's for, to make content for you guys, uh, so that's why we're doing it. Because you guys have probably asked the most out of all the people in the comments. Come to Ireland, come to Ireland, come to Ireland. So fucking come in, right? So now we need to find. I want to see Hurling. I think if I had a choice, uh, Hurling would be what I'll go and see. But I, I'll I'll go watch anything, um, like Gaelic football or Hurling. Happy yeah, I watch anything, man. Yeah, so. Uh, be better than baseball we're doing that and then we're obviously going to watch United so we'll come and have a fucking uh, a wee Guinness there or so with some of the Irish lads ahead of that game that should be a cracker of an atmosphere because you would have thought by then as well because that's six days prior to the Super Cup yeah that's going to be a pretty strong Mourinho side hopefully some of the new signings to get in their last little mm -hmm. run out before it before the Premier League season starts the following week so uh, I mean you're, are you already excited for the Premier League season it's just finished yesterday um, no because I'm still tired man yeah. I didn't finish till 4 o'clock this morning and today like fucking Jay won't me up Janine won't me up so I've been like a zombie all fucking day and I've not I've not rested I've not really done anything I can like I've not done anything productive I've not done anything fucking worth a fucking wank I've just sort of like existed all day so uh, and I had an early dart today yeah I did like two hours or something work and I was done pretty good effort um, so that's that one there's a there's an end of season review tomorrow on Full Time Devils and it's me and Sam with uh, Jamie Jackson um, so check that out that'll probably be live uh, it's going to be so fucking hot in that studio tomorrow but yeah um, can't be other than what it is in here I'm not asked whether it's local like non-league under 18s whatever the yeah, fuck whatever. it is we'll, we'll go and we'll have a good time wherever it is so if anyone can let us know on that Tuesday we're definitely coming on those days flights are booked uh, we've just not booked the hotel yet. Uh, I've got the flights. I've got the, the match tickets. So uh, we're fucking coming, man. That's that. Fucking Airbnb, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I'm looking at Airbnb was pretty dear, but then uh, that uh, that was before I looked at the hotels because the hotels was pretty dear. Hmm. So if I go back f knowing the hotel prices now, Airbnb might not be so dear. So it might be an Airbnb job. Just someone's apartment or some shit in town would be happy days, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and apart from that, um, if you donated... Um, let us know in on Twitter. Um, hang on, this might be something that's worth sharing. <sighs> Nothing's come up yet. What? Well. Women. Uh, League of Ireland football, all that sort of shit. Um, can we shout out James Mitten? James Mitten. Shout out. Um, Where's Nivan? You what? Where's Nivan? Come to Nivan. That doesn't sound like it's in the centre. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I've heard a lot of good stuff about Ireland, so uh, can't fucking wait. Um, They'd probably be. Um, it probably be, might even be Champions League qualifiers in that time. Oh, oh shit, can you imagine we score one of them on the Tuesday? Yeah, I'd be right at that, wouldn't it? Whew. Um, I'm getting one of them Bs. Uh, me and Angelina are getting them done. Danny Birch doing them. He was 
there's a uh, I don't know if any of you I don't know if all you are aware that people are donating fifty quid to have a bee tattooed on them um, for the the stuff this week. One of our mates that we went to college with is have you seen the work they've done? Yes, yeah, it's fucking unbelievable. Uh, he's not been able to participate this week because he's because he's mint, so he's completely booked up. Um, so he said he's got an open day on the twenty fourth. So I messaged him straight away. I was like, "Yeah, I'll have one. Let's fuck it. Let's get it in the mix." Uh, are we going sculpture for the Super Cup at the moment? No, but I think my dad is uh, he's definitely fucking itchy feet on that one because he uh, he was talking about it before we even got to the car last night. <laughs> yeah, it's in Macedonia as well, isn't it? It's, yeah. Uh... Uh, yeah, you're not going to go says, there for anything else. Do a subscriber meet up in town. I'm not going to do like a proper a fucking official one or something like that because I'm I'm just some dickhead who's got a podcast. <laughs> but if uh, if we're in Ireland, I'll definitely like let everyone know where we're going to be, uh, and we'll come and have a fucking. Uh, I'm going to try a pint of Guinness because I've never had a pint of Guinness. I guess the uh, the best place to try a pint of Guinness would be uh, in Guinness. Would be in Guinness. You mean in Dublin? Yeah. <laughs> or at the Guinness factory yeah. if we go there so uh, yeah man that's uh, that's what I'm going to do um, oh yeah if you have a tattoo you can give blood no you can't not for a year uh, I was keeping an eye on that because I was going to go and give blood on Tuesday because I've got don't get shot yeah, it's not like all, all negative innit that's all it wanted yeah I may be negative which is the don't get shot blood which is the rarest one um, and it's it, blood goes off you know so with this. AB neg yeah well, it's organic innit so of course it does uh, with AB Neg, it's either that they've got enough because they don't need much of it because no one really needs it because it's, it's like less than 2% of the world's got it. I don't know. I was like, I won't even know what blood type I am. But Janine said that to me today. She's like, how do people know? I obviously know because when I got told what it was, someone was like, make sure you write that on every bit of kit that you've got because they'll, they'll need to fucking know quick yeah. time because they won't have it in stock. All right, great. No one don't get shot blood. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> there was only two people in my battalion that had it. So... Uh, out of like, you know, four or five hundred blocks. Rare. Madness. Are we going to Dublin for United and Sabdori? Yes, that's ex exactly what we're going for. Um, town is in Market Street. Town is in Manchester. Um, possibly. Liam McDyer, the B is the symbol of Manchester, right? Correct. It's on all the bins. It's on all the bollards. Mosaics. Um, but did they know why, though? Do you know why? I know why, yeah. Because yeah. of the uh, industry. And it's the hive of activity. Hive of activity. Worker bee... Because of the mills, yeah. The mills was referred to like um, hive beehives of activity, and uh, and that's when it sort of ended up being put on the t on the the Manchester crest. There's seven of them. Mm. I suppose that they represent the seven <coughs> boroughs. I'm not sure what the seven boroughs are because there's ten boroughs of Greater Manchester. So I don't know what the original seven yeah. boroughs of Manchester. Oh, yeah, is. That's it's what just expanded, isn't it? Seven boroughs. Oh my god. Try put original in there, see if it comes up. So the original, no, that's ten in it. That's all ten still. That. Yeah. It, yeah. Um. History of Manchester. Have I gone there? Yeah, it could be. The borough of Manchester was established in 1838. Um. Mad that in 1838. It's not even old. As a city, yeah, but the university was established in like seventy eight, I think eighteen seventy eight. Yeah, but even that's not old. But like been, eighteen, still been a city. Yeah, yeah but eighteen thirty eight is not old. If you look at like how but long, the oldest building in Manchester is three hundred years old, though it's a pub, obviously. Because mm. <laughs> yeah, there was stuff in medieval times and Roman times and all that sort of shit. I wonder what the original seven is. I can't see what the original seven is. If anyone knows what the original seven boroughs of Manchester was, I'm assuming... I'm not assuming anything, actually. I don't fucking know. I bet it was on... Um, I bet it was all on, like, dinghy districts. Old Slumdolin's still there. Mm -hmm. Have you heard about Angel Meadow? It doesn't exist now. It's near uh, Oldham Road. Apparently, it was a nasty-ass slum where there was well, just people shitting in the streets. Oldham and stuff. Street. Yeah, oh, Oldham Road. Oldham Road, lay like the post office. Oh right, yeah. Wing yeah. Yip and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up towards there. Um, the, yeah, it's uh, it's worth looking into. Like uh, a lot of my aunts and uncles and that have been reading a book about it recently, about how bad it was. Um, like twenty five thousand people living in a square mile and stuff, okay. and like five six families per house, and um, yeah, that right. was turn of the century. Every fucker living in the mills. What do I think about the Irish? In what sense? In what sense? 
uh, stay there for a couple of weeks and visit Ireland and all that. I, unfortunately, I can't. We don't really have the time. holidays for it. But um, yeah, man. I mean, uh, I'm I'm debating, and hopefully I can sort it by the end of the year. Like, I want to buy a new motor. Uh, clutch has just fucking gone on on my focus. Uh, there's I mean, there's hills about here, isn't there? Trying to drive up them uh, with no clutch. Clutch is slipping, so you put your foot down and the revs go up and the speed stays the same. It's a nightmare. So you're coming up some hills and you can see people just sat like, come on, mate, fucking hell. Yeah, fuck and you're you like you driving down. Miss Daisy like, soz. And it's just going, <laughs> fucking, yeah, so the clutch has started slipping, so that's going to cost a, a pretty penny. But I'm thinking, do you know what? I'm probably going to get a new motor. It might not be this year, but I want to... I want to get a transporter. Do you ever do a transporter? Yeah. Because I'd love to just fucking go travel and just like just fucking kipping it and like. You you don't mind driving or is like it's nah, nothing to you. I, I I don't mind driving to a point. I just think oh, I can't be arsed now. Well, one of the things I'd really like to. I mean, we're going uh, me, Janine, and Jay. We're going Newquay for an adventure holiday, doing surfing, canyoning, um, draw like a proper fucking giggle. Um, got Jay. But if he watches it back, he's know. not watching it. Um, so we're gonna go and do loads of stuff that he can like record and stuff and uh, cool. just have fun, man. Because like I learned to surf while I was in the army on adventure training, and uh, I took Jay down a couple of years, and he fucking loved it. Um, Banned in Jacko. I've not even seen. I think he might already be banned. No, do you know what the nightmare is when you ban someone in here? Like you lot still see him, and I don't see him. I can't see the guy. Yeah, it's not here. Oh, there you not go. Here. Oh, someone fucking dropping Munich stuff in. I'm sure you've got mates. <coughs> um, so I want to get a, so I'm going to get a transporter camper. Um, and I was saying to Jay, like, school holidays. Because, uh, I mean, mission, isn't it? look what we did for our honeymoon. I can't do a beach holiday, man. I'm too hyperactive. I can sit there for about half an hour and be like, oh, I need to do something now. Yeah, but you... There's not always just the beach, is there? Do you know what I mean, there's loads of shit to go and explore wherever you're staying, and you can you can check it out beforehand. But I like doing you know, a couple of days in a place, move on to somewhere else. Nah. So I could see me hitting, like if I had you know, a camper light, I would I could see me hitting like south of France, hit Marseille, go Monaco, go Nice, yeah. jib over to Italy, come down there, to yeah, drive. I'd, 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 I'd go on holiday to relax me. Ask me relaxing. Ah, get me on a beach, chill. Get me in a nice place. I go exploring. Don't get me wrong. I won't spend every day at the beach, but it's nice just to be able to sit there, a couple of days, and just think. Right, I don't have to do jack shit. Don't mind me. <laughs> well, <laughs> you need to learn to relax, in it. Well, look at how much. Um, look what we did on the honeymoon. That was great. I fucking loved that. That was fucking happy days. But we spent like half of that holiday driving. Yeah. Well, probably not half, but you know, a significant proportion of it driving. So I, uh, I, I, we want to do that again. Uh, we, we're going to uh, Mallorca, I think, for Katie's wedding in um, July next year. Right. I've, I thought, oh, because obviously me and Dave have been looking at me for cheap flights all around uh, Europe for yeah. going watching matches. Oh, Mallorca, what, 30, 40, 40 quid on a plane? Piece of piss. What's that? You know, I know how much fucking hotels cost, so I was like... Do this like for me, Janine, and Jay for a few ton. Happy days. No, two and a half grand. What? Serious? I was like, you fucking kidding me? Nah, that's some. So for a, just for flights? No, no, no. It's flights and it's an all-inclusive fucking oh. do for when you get there. Like, but yeah, well, she's not going to be. Jesus she's not going to be staying Christ. at some. She's not going with Magaluf, is she? No, I know, but fucking hell. Yeah, but it's nice that island. I'm wounded. <laughs> I bet you. <laughs> Who's your sister? We're gonna say. Fancy getting married abroad. Do people moan about how far away I got married? Yeah, that was far. It's in Macclesfield. Yeah, but it's fucking well Didn't you go to the airport for it, did you? I had to go past the airport. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> fucking hell. Um, yeah. So, I've got a fucking... I've got to go spend a week on a beach holiday. I'm going to go out my fucking mind. Nah, there's loads. Do you know what? You might look at me and think, do you know what? I could actually live here. I'm gonna. I, I need to go and move abroad, me. I need to go and do at least twelve months abroad. Most definitely. I think it'd be good for you. I. Uh, oh, thanks. No problem. Um, I. Um, I don't. I don't know if I could now because of uh, just schooling with Jay and. Yeah, I mean it's all right for me at the time, but 
but it's like, where would you go? I mean, it won't go somewhere too far, but then I think, oh, I would love to go like Malaysia or something. That's it. This big English there, financial district. I, I, could, <coughs> I could easily... I think I would rather um, keep Manchester as my home because I fucking love this city. Yeah, I do. And, uh, and, and, and jet off from it often. Like, I love where I live. Is it... There's loads of shit, countryside everywhere, on my doorstep, get into town, whatever. Yeah. Probably move back to Ordenshaw. Everything you need, isn't it? I mean, it, it's yeah. happy days. It Everything really is happy days. The only, the only f- yeah, it's... Weather's not great, but... You no, know. nah, that's the only thing. Like, today is is probably too hot. Not too hot for me. I'm all right, but I mean, it's in like... It is when you're working. Yeah, you, 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 your houses and stuff aren't accustomed to having this heat, so... You know, it's it's all right for like a few days, but it goes on and on and on. You don't have like aircon in your house and, and stuff like that. No, when for that studio down there, I'm gonna get like proper American style aircon in there because I mean, with the amount of computer equipment we have up here, yeah, in there with it being a glass roof on it as well, shit will get hot in there rapid. So it's just like having a server room, really. You get a, you know, a proper aircon, so it's mm. fucking ice cold. I'd rather be ice cold than. When it's hot like this, I mean, you get a decent aircon. It does both, and it? it does heat and, yeah, and yeah, cool. Yeah. So, um, when we finish that downstairs, that's gonna have a, a good aircon in it because it's gonna fucking need it. But yeah, I think uh, I, I would like to do um, a bit more fingers. Obviously, I don't, I'm not going fucking Singapore, which I'm a bit pissed off of. <laughs> oh, got it, mate. Honestly, you be well got it on there. I am. I mean, last week was shite. Not going <laughs> to Stockholm. Not going to Singapore. Like anyone else? Anyone else? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I mean I, I, I want to do that I mean I've got under my desk there I've got a bit of Perspex and underneath that I've got that map of the world oh yeah scratch uh, yeah I want to scratch that all that motherfucker off um, cause I wouldn't mind doing I wouldn't mind doing daft mad shit as well like um, draw some like winter fucking treks and stuff Just nah. like, I, I've said on it before that I've seen um, package holidays where you can go to, I think it's Sweden where you can do the dog sledding and go and see the Northern Lights. That's a fucking experience, isn't it? And yeah, I think... I, didn't John do that? Probably. I think he did. <laughs> and I think having a YouTube yes. channel and you know a lot of camera equipment and stuff, I, I think that would be something really cool to share with you guys as well. Have you... Um, Dylan St. Rose has dropped this like loads of times. Have you been to Dominican Republic? I have not been to the Caribbean. I've been. Uh, but it yes. was nice. Hello, Dylan. I did, they filmed like Jurassic Park, I think, in, uh, around there. Did they? Yeah. But I can't, I can't believe, like, I didn't realise that it borders Haiti. It's all, ri- I mean, have you seen how close it is to Miami, though? All of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's all within the same like, fucking yeah. place. Oh, no. It was nice. But I think it was on the wrong side of the island. I think there's, like, two different parts of, like, tourist side of things. I missed out on going to Belize while I was in the army. Which is in that neck of the woods, which is paradise. By it's where points. Shine got um, deported to. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> After shooting up a club. But apparently it is, it's super fucking broke as an island, but um, paradise in terms of like natural beauty and stuff. Mm. But, yeah, yeah that's too like, much of a fucking world. Do you know, do you know I was thinking actually, like, like, you know, speaking of, like natural beauty, what natural resource or animal, whatever, thrives, has thrived? while you know we've been around humans been around dogs not not talking about like no just like you know like trees all right you know bees shit like that dog yeah dogs are like as a pet but i mean like things that you don't need a dog to survive you don't need that doesn't is not critical for the world like a bee or a tree a bee it's mad that bees are but we destroy it Every day. We're assholes. Every day. Individually, people are top. In groups of people, people are dicks. Yeah. People are dicks in groups. And individually, individually, I don't really think I've met that many bad people. I think everyone that you meet is pretty sound on an individual basis. But in in groups, people do the most banana shit. And corporations, fuck it. Yeah, they don't give a fuck about it. You need constant growth of them. Yeah. Um, anyway. Jack says he's got two tickets for the Sampdoria match. See you there. You will see us there. New Zealand says Robin. That's meant to be like paradise. As I've well. been there. Did you go to New Zealand? Oh, I was like nine. I was going to say, I don't remember you doing it since I learned. Nah, yeah, I went to. Uh, Dad took me Disneyland first. In Fucking LA. That's a trip. In LA. <laughs> and then went to New Zealand. But like, that's because my. Well, my, my great uncle that lived there. 
he's passed away now, unfortunately. And then one of my dad's mates lived there as well, so we went there. I nearly died on a beach. <laughs> like, this beach was deserted. So it would you'd probably think, mm, I, I, probably a weekday, so not, not no reason for it being deserted. But it's like, went on there, the waves were fucking humongous. So, you know, like, when you're a kid, you love... Pacific Ocean, though, isn't it? Of course it is. Yeah, well, you, you love jumping into waves and all that shit. So you're d- diving in and everything, like, oh, getting drowned and things like that, thinking buzzing. And then the last one, you think, oh, just last one, one more, one more, one more. All right, go on, everyone. Jumped in, and I got sucked under <laughs> by a wave, and I thought, I was, like, panicking, obviously, like you do. And then I think my dad just grabbed me by the leg and pulled me out. I was like, always the same. So I was like, yeah, that was a bit mad. But Australia, sorry, New Zealand was really nice. It's um, it's a nice climate. It's, it's not very, it's not very densely populated. Or it wasn't then. I don't think it still is now. There's way more sheep than people. I think. Yeah. I think that's the joke. Mad. Isn't it? Yeah. But it, it's very green, very serene. It's similar. I think it's similar to the UK, but like a lot nicer in terms of weather. So I'm reading at the moment, uh, Magicians of Magicians, can't even say it, of the Gods by Graham Hancock. He did a book called Fingerprint of the Gods, which was exploring about ancient civilizations that existed and thrived. And then, you like, there was clearly some sort of comet that fucked him up. Mm. So, you, you, we've spoke about Gobekli Tepe. Have you heard of Gobekli Tepe? Yeah. So, remember. this is like, they used to think that 25,000 years ago, people were, humans were still hunter gatherers. But 25,000 or 14,000 years ago, they've got this, um, stone structure with carvings in it and they've gone what the fuck is this this like throws out everything that we thought we knew and there's evidence being found in in, like america now of all these other sort of civilizations and stuff and there's um oh there's like so many places that we've still not reached on this earth so the amazon they find shit in the amazon all the time what the fuck is this (laughs) yeah that's because they keep chopping the fuckers down uh, Mexico City, they keep, uh, I mean, which is completely mad and well overpopulated. They keep digging stuff up in Mexico City and going like, fucking hell. Oh, yeah, Iceland. Robin in the comments says Iceland. Iceland looks like something out of a movie set, doesn't it? Have you seen yeah, it? Yeah. That black, them black beaches, I think it's volcanic beaches, the, 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 the contrast that you get around all that stuff is fucking ace. Um, any questions before we bounce? Um, Tommy says, hate it when I catch you halfway through. Don't know if I should restart or hurl abuse in the comments. First world problems. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Hurl abuse, mate. Fuck it. Um, pyramids, how was they built? Fuck knows. Fuck knows. They said they reckon it'd take like 600 years for you to... Uh... There's like rumours that they had mobile phones and shit. What? Yeah, I don't know how true that is. I'm not, I don't think I'm very... I don't think you've read more than a headline on it. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> when you see headlines like fucking... <laughs> no, you gotta gotta get gotta keep Pound shop them. foot liquor. Right, please, tomorrow, the eight hundred of you that are watching, I want you to get into your general conversation tomorrow, pound shop foot liquor to somebody. I know you can all do it before eleven yeah. o'clock tomorrow. I wanna ride you like a horse. I'm gonna ride you like a horse, you pound shop foot liquor. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck yeah. Uh someone say Norway, question mark. I've been to Norway. I like Norway. Again, I, I I, I fucking love nature and stuff like that, man. I want to get out in a mixer. Um, Eli says, amazing book. Graham Hancock's Supernatural World is worth a read. Now, isn't one of those um, a, a fiction book, though? Because the stuff I'm reading at the moment is non-fiction. And I've also bought uh, Guns, Germs and Steel, which is uh, Why Nations Fail, and it's, it's meant to be sick. Um, I, I can't wait to get into that one. Who do I trust for transfer news? No one. It is the thing, right? With transfer news, everybody gets some truth, but even some truth cannot happen. So, I mean, we've ourselves been told stuff that's happening oh, yeah. didn't fucking happen, right? So, yeah, well, shit. we we were supposed to be getting uh, Gabriel Jesus this year, was it? Yeah, no, I remember when I s- I forgot I've slept since off. Uh, obviously, it came through saying yeah, because asked to say, look, if anyone's going to know if Pogba's signing, he's going to know. So, yeah, he quickly said, yeah, Pogba's definitely signing. Also supposed to be signing. I uh, can't remember what he said, but he said, oh, this uh, Brazilian wonder kid as well. Oh, yeah, well, there was also talk of the other dude, wasn't there? Oh, uh, Gabigol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe it was one of them, man. But, yeah. Can I recommend Audbook? I re- uh, yeah, I listen to a lot of audiobooks, actually, through Audible. Um I should probably throw up a bit of a link actually with some of the stuff that I'm doing on um, what's in. Um, anyway, I think that'll probably fucking do us. Uh, there's a couple of oh, dr- there's a couple of um, yeah, he's out in here. Um, for a phone. 
there's a couple of uh, videos that I'm sort of planning um, to um, to get done over the next couple of weeks. One is a, a bit of a transfer window. I'll do I'll do a two part. I'll do an ins and an outs, uh, and then I'm going to do an academy one for the weekend probably. Yeah, Real Madrid paid forty odd mil for that, or oh, forty mm. million euros for that sixteen. Have you seen him? He's thirty seven if a fucking day. Nah. Um, he's played seven, seven minutes or something. Like seven, eleven minutes. That's fucking. Yeah, like that's a new Danielson in the making. I think that. You 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 can't be paying that sort of money for that kid. Uh, read the rise of his Islamic State. I'd rather not. That's just gonna fucking depress me or anger me or just make me think someone who wrote he's got a fucking massive agenda. Um, so yeah. I prefer to read. I really like historical stuff. Me, I will read the shit out of all that stuff. Uh, anyway, thank you guys for joining us. Um, please, if you can, drop something down in the donation to the Manchester Bomb Victims in the link below. If you've done it, uh, screenshot it, uh, send it to us on Twitter, or hit us up on Reddit with it. I want to try and tally up how much we, we, you know, people who've watched this have donated. And uh, it just felt messy trying to fucking take donations in here and fucking send them elsewhere. I thought I might as well just fucking go straight to that in it. So um, yeah, let's fucking let's just see what we've done and then we'll throw ours in as well. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching. This been a fucking crazy up and down week for Manchester. Um, about it, isn't it? Right, we're, in, we're in the fucking draw for the Champions League. And so next week, when we've probably been linked to everybody under the sun. Next week's will be good, though, because it's going to be post um, post the Robbo game and all that sort of stuff. Oh, yeah, if I'm still if I'm still breathing. Oh, I can't wait to rinse you on I don't week. think I've got no knees left anyway. <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm going to make... Uh, Mason Duckett, thanks uh, for following me. I'm going to send uh, DM him for the boots, like, so I'm just going to have a conversation with him. Save me, all right. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're not already. It looks like there's a few of you subscribed tonight already, anyways. Um, I don't know if we'll hit 75k this year. I very much doubt it. True Jordy is on Monday, so make sure to not miss that fucker. Next week's going to be sick for content, actually, because Monday we've got True Jordy. Uh, there's probably a youth review or that first transfer thing. Uh, and then we've got um, the Robo content, the Pallister content, and then the vlog from the day of uh, playing at Old Trafford as well. So. Uh, Make sure to check that one out. Um, give our kid a follow at Badums1983 on Twitter. That was the year of my birth. I don't, I don't know how you came up with that. Sadly. Give um, What was his uh, Instagram account? I've got it on here. So uh, I'm, not Mason, sure. I'm not on Instagram. But we'll give Mason a shout out as well. For yeah, sorting Mason, out okay, let's have a look at this That's Instagram. Mad About Boots uh, Instagram. B O T T Z. Um, I will let me just go find it. Let's open it up and let's see what's on there. Oh, oh so it's just a, it's just a load of boots. <laughs> <laughs> Standard. So if he's selling them, oh yeah, it looks like he's selling some as well. So it looks like he's selling retro boots. Uh, I like that. It's pretty cool. That, yeah, they're man. pretty mad. They might be a bit too mad though. Uh, they're nice. Yeah, can't be, uh, can't be rocking up with like a gold pair, thinking you that you, you know, the shiznit. It's got to be black or maybe black. I reckon. Yeah. Or possibly black. <laughs> uh, so yeah, go and check out Mason's channel. Um, and uh, yeah there'll be loads of good stuff coming out next week that's it season's over um, it'll be June by the time we get back so uh, this is the last one of May this is the last one of this season so I guess that's us thanks for sticking with us and thanks for helping us grow thanks for helping us get to this stage and uh, it turned out a relatively successful season in the grand scheme of things didn't it relatively yeah relative right, yeah relative no, it's not wild success, so it's right. relatives. You know, you still speak to people. Like I spoke to people like, that's it. I've cancelled everything. I've not renewed my season ticket. So I'm like, you've had it too good. You have had Do you it know too what I mean? good, man. You have had it too good. It's no, not like it's not like no it's been twenty. It's not been twenty five years of us. We've won more trophies than Liverpool and Spurs combined in the past ten years. Everyone can't wait to pipe yeah. off. Yeah, they write us off because they hate us. Anyway, we're out of here. Layers. Layers. <laughs>